Hi friends, I'm Dalia. Welcome to simpleindianrecipes.com, your online guide to simple and healthy home style cooking. Today I'll be showing you how to clean and chop banana stem. It is also called the plantain stem. After the banana plant yields its fruit, the stem is usually thrown away in many places, but in South India it is used to make a wide variety of dishes. If you are on diet and trying to lose weight, then banana stem is an excellent choice for you. It is said that if you drink a glass of banana juice in the morning, it will keep you full for many hours, but it is very low in calories. It is also good for people suffering from kidney stones. So let's get started. So the first step is to peel off all the outer layers of the banana stem that comes off easily. It may have 2 to 3 layers. Once you are done with that, cut it into roundels. So when you try to do that, you will find that there are some fibers attached to it. Just remove it using your fingers. After you are done cutting like 4 or 5 roundels, just stack them up and then cut it into thin strips or julians. Now keep these sticks together and then chop it finely. Banana stem tends to become brown when exposed to air. So take a bowl filled with water, add a pinch of turmeric or a couple of tablespoons of curd and then as soon as you chop the banana stem, add it directly to this bowl. This will help retain its color longer. If at all you plan to chop the banana stem the previous day, you can store it in the refrigerator along with the bowl of water. But if in case you are planning to make a sweet juice or paisam out of the banana stem, then do not add the turmeric or the yogurt, just store it in plain water. So once you are done chopping the entire banana stem, there is one final step before you can use it for your preparations. That is removing any additional fiber that may be present in the chopped banana stem. For this you need a wooden stick or a skewer or any long spoon. What you have to do, take the bowl and keep stirring it with this wooden stick a few times. What happens is all the excess fiber gets entangled with the wooden stick and it can be taken out easily. So repeat this step maybe 2 or 3 times until no more fiber gets entangled with the stick. This method has been used for many many years to remove the fiber from the banana stem. So now you have chopped and cleaned banana stem to use for making pickles or side dishes or anything that you want. Many people get intimidated with the thought of chopping and cleaning banana stem but as you saw it's not at all that difficult. If you have never tried cooking with banana stem, I encourage you to buy and try it. It's a very healthy vegetable but inexpensive too. For detailed recipe and step by step instructions, check out my website simpleindianrecipes.com. See you again with some more interesting recipes. Until then, bye bye.